everyone, welcome to my channel. Recently, I got some questions from viewers that uh, they wanted to know how to show the GPU or C CPU usage history for MacBook. So I'm here to show you a quicker tutorial on how to enable that. One of the default one is to use uh, activity monitor so you can on your upper right corner, you click the search button and uh, you type uh, activity monitor from the menu bar on the top, you click the windows there are several options you can choose, CPU usage so here you can bring up uh, the CPU usage click window again, select uh, and click uh, GPU history and you can see your GPU history and the other one is uh, CPU history so here it is so I think this, this one this way I think you can simply use the system default settings to open the monitoring graph so I think it looks quite nice second one I want to show is uh, you can go to GitHub, you search for stats. I think this is one of the open source software that you can use on your MacBook to sh monitor your CPU, GPU, memory, etc. Um, once you are there, you can browse what it looks like. I think it looks like really nice and uh, we can click uh, on the right panel, there's a release you select the, la the latest version and uh, there is a .dmg file that you can enable it to download once it's downloaded, you can click to open it and drag it into your application to install it once it's installed you can open your application and uh, you can find uh, the stats you just installed there is a warning and you can go ahead with the open and it also asks you some permission if you don't uh, have those you can allow that and you can also do some settings to start uh, the program when starting your Mac or do not start all right do everything silently it's like a check for updates you can maybe yeah you can choose any of those based on your preference and also sharing data or not yeah you can totally decide by yourself and uh, once configuration is complete you can finish the setup and we do see that if you notice that on the up upper right corner there are some small stats bar here just shows you the CPU, shows you the RAM, shows you the hard drive, show you the network and uh, let's uh, click on that we see the CPU, we see the RAM here we see the hard drive here and there are the network once they showed up you can just uh, right click them and uh, click uh, the setting and in here you are able to like uh, modify the settings for example CPU the GPU 
And uh, one thing you notice that uh, right now GPU is not just shown up uh, on the toolbar, but uh, on the GPU you just uh, toggle it on, so it will be showing up right here. Similarly, to there are other things that you can do, like battery, network, sensors. There are multiple different type of sensors here. There are also so many things that you can customize. Clock, there are all those settings here. Yeah, those are wonderful. I think uh, for now, we are mostly interested in the GPU one. So let's uh, take a look at the GPU. GPU is right here. We see that there you can toggle on the details. There are it just shows you what your GPU look like. All right, so so let's uh, let's uh, open the GPU. Let's open the CPU, and uh, let's uh, open our focus application. So if you not are not familiar with the focus, please refer to my other video on the tutorial. I think it's a really nice uh, AI application that. Uh, Every MacBook owner can try it. Into our CPU and GPU utilization. All right, we we opened our Focus UI, and now let's uh, click the Advanced. We use the Extreme Speed and the number of image. Let's uh, quickly run it. MacBook Blue. Okay, let's uh, click Generate. And look at uh, the GPU and the CPU utilization. CPU is mostly like a uh, 100%, 97%, and for the CPU, it doesn't rely much on the CPU, but it seems the temperature is, becomes quite high here. Okay, so it took uh, around uh, 38 seconds. Let's look at the results. Okay, thank you very much. If you would like, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.